Liz, nice to meet you. Yes, from Smart English. Today we're gonna have another session on random topics. Possessed of the confidence to believe that they can actually speak another language. Now I think in, at the same time they know grammar. Traveling is paramount if you want to speak another language fluently because it assists with language immersion. Smart English. Smart the English. smartest way to learn English. Smartest way to learn English. To learn English. Hello everyone. Today we're gonna have another session on random topics. And today's guest is Liz. Nice to meet you. Yes, from Smart English. Alright, Liz, today I'll be asking you random questions mm -hmm. and you'll be answering based on your experience. Okay. Uh, first of all, let me ask you because you've been teaching English and based on, your, based on your experience, what kind of difficulties usually students face in the world? Um, learning English while yeah. studying English. Do you know, it's quite funny but the biggest problem isn't studying grammar or even writing techniques, it's actually confidence. Oh, confidence? Yeah. How? Most students struggle with confidence. Learning a new language can be quite daunting and so students don't actually possess um, the confidence to believe that they can actually speak another language. So first, right. the English teacher has to boost their confidence and then teach them the language. Wow, fantastic point. Well, well, when you mentioned about the confidence, um, I also remember, you know, there are a lot of students who know a lot of vocabulary. They know a lot of words, but they can't speak uh -huh. at all. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think in, at the same time, they know grammar. Yes. However, they can't say uh, many sentences in English. So, I think this is a problem. Confidence. Mm -hmm. If they add confidence to vocabulary, grammar, and the third thing, confidence, will be a very good English. Quite wonderful, true. wonderful. Yes. Um, and another question comes to my mind. What do you think? Traveling, does it help us to improve our language? Traveling is paramount if you want to speak another language fluently because it assists with language immersion. You should go into the um, environment where the language is spoken mm -hmm. and that way you'll become tops in the language. Wow, mm -hmm. great, great. And Apart from language learning, mm -hmm. look, you are traveling around the world and apart from learning another language, what kind of benefits can you gain? For example, you traveled, how many countries did you travel? I think this is now my 28th country. Wow, yes. 28 countries. Look at that, guys. She has been traveling all around the world and she has traveled 28 countries in the world. This is awesome. Um, yeah, so. It means you've got a lot of experience in traveling. Um, it means I can ask this question and the audience can learn a lot. So look, by traveling, apart from language learning, what else we can learn? You can learn about the culture. Culture mm -hmm. is very important. The way people live, the way people do things, and the way people use the language to communicate. Mm -hmm. You can possess language skills, but you might not know how to communicate, so you must learn how to communicate. Those are a few things you can learn. I see, I see. Um, yeah, because you travel to 28 countries, I believe you had some culture shocks. Definitely. All right, can you yeah. tell me some okay. about culture shocks? Um, one of my culture shocks was um, when I was in Iraq, the the society there i went to the quiet side of iraq called kurdistan and um, you don't actually have guards you have militia and these are men with guns i see rifles and um you can't go anywhere on your own and that's normal the um iraqi call my co iraqi colleagues were perfect with it but all the expats like myself we were traumatized but it was fine promise it was fine. <laughs> look what we are saying is you are guarded all yes, the time? all the time. In the classroom, they look into the classroom, they monitor you 24-7, they make sure you can't go off the compound unless they put the, the mirrors under the bus and they have to check you. Even if you have your pass, you are first, you are checked, you are double checked. Oh, oh. it's very different. What, what if you want to travel in the night, during the night, oh, like go out? Some of my American colleagues, Two of my American colleagues risked that and they went out without their badges but they went out on the school bus and the driver um, took them out but when they were coming back they were a bit too late and they didn't come back with the same driver. When they got at the school gate 
they were denied entrance and the director of the school had to be called. They waited until morning. It was as though they were complete strangers, though they were staff members. So wow. that was quite a shock. Look, guard guys are not changed every day and they know you. Like they know your face, mm -hmm. they know your name mm -hmm. apparently. Mm -hmm. However, when you go out and when you want to come back. They don't know you. It's procedure and protocol. Come on. <laughs> yes, that was a culture shock. This is crazy. It's absolutely crazy, but crazy. that was the region where I went to, Kurdistan. And mm -hmm. because they're in a, a military zone and it's a combat zone, that was the procedure. I and see. we had to adapt and we adapted. I see. And how long did you bear that? One Cut. academic year and then... All right. <laughs> For a year. Kangaroo Jack. I see. Nice. I see. Thank you very much. And yeah for the sake of the use mm -hmm. what kind of advice would you give one piece of advice mm -hmm. for the use who are going to travel abroad be open-minded you're not at home so you have to accept certain things adjust and be appreciative as much as you can be all right thank you very much in today's session i was a host akmal john and today's uh, guest is liz, liz. And we are from Smart English. And you guys, if you want to learn English from the native English speakers, please join Smart English. See you in the class. Bye bye. Bye. Follow us on social media. Follow us on social media.